Chapter 11, Administration and Leadership In transitioning from the spiritual to the pragmatic aspects of pastoral ministry, it's crucial to address the often overlooked yet critical realm of administration and leadership within the church. Balancing administrative duties with pastoral care, as outlined in this chapter, requires a deft hand and a heart aligned with God's purpose. Leadership in a church context isn't just about overseeing operations, it's about shepherding with wisdom and courage. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40 that let all things be done decently and in order, highlighting the biblical foundation for order within the church. This principle underscores the necessity for pastors to not only be spiritual guides but also competent administrators who can manage the church as an effective organization. The dual role encompasses strategic planning, resource management, and team leadership, all while maintaining the pastoral vision of leading the flock towards spiritual growth and community impact. It's a balancing act that demands prayerful reliance on the Holy Spirit for discernment and strength. As pastors navigate these waters, they embody the biblical exhortation found in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. This chapter aims to inspire and equip those in pastoral roles to embrace their administrative duties with the same passion and commitment as their pastoral care, ensuring that the church not only runs smoothly but also thrives as a beacon of hope and light in the community. Managing the Church as an Organization In embarking on the journey of managing the church as an organization, pastors are called to mirror the biblical archetype of a shepherd, ensuring order, provision, and guidance for their flock. The essence of this management lies not in wielding authority, but in exemplifying servitude, as Christ demonstrated when he washed the feet of his disciples, an act that illuminates the heart of godly leadership, John 13 verses 14 to 15. Effective management involves stewarding resources wisely, such as time, finances, and the talents within the congregation, to foster a thriving community that reflects God's kingdom. It calls for a balanced approach, integrating administrative tasks with pastoral care, ensuring that neither aspect detracts from the other but they enhance the ministry's overall impact. The challenge is to navigate this fusion with grace, praying for wisdom akin to that of Solomon, who, when faced with the daunting task of leading, sought divine discernment above all else, 1 Kings 3 verse 9. Thus, managing the church requires a pastor to be both a visionary leader and a humble servant, always leaning on the Holy Spirit's guidance to cultivate a vibrant, loving, and mission-driven body of Christ. Balancing administrative duties with pastoral care is a facet of pastoral ministry that cannot be overstated in its importance. The calling to shepherd a flock is multifaceted, involving both the care of souls and the management of church operations. This inherent duality may sometimes feel like walking a tightrope, attempting to maintain equilibrium between two seemingly conflicting responsibilities. However, Scripture provides guidance and wisdom for navigating these waters, reminding us that with God, all things are harmonious. The Apostle Paul, in his letters, often intertwined practical church governance with deep pastoral care. In Acts 20 verse 28, he exhorts the elders at Ephesus, saying, Take heed therefore unto yourselves, and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. This directive underscores the holistic approach required in pastoral ministry, administering to both the spiritual and practical needs of the church. In the modern context, pastors find themselves juggling administrative tasks such as budgeting, staff management, and building maintenance, alongside the traditional pastoral roles of preaching, teaching, and spiritual counseling. The challenge, then, is not to view these duties as competing interests but as complementary parts of a pastor's calling. Integrating administrative tasks with pastoral care requires intentionality, organization, and, most importantly, prayer. One practical step toward achieving this balance is setting clear priorities. A pastor must discern what only they can do versus what can be delegated to others. While the preacher's role in sermon preparation and delivery is irreplaceable, certain administrative tasks can be entrusted to competent lay leaders or church staff. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 5 to 6 teaches, And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Recognizing the diversity of gifts within the church body allows for the distribution of duties, freeing the pastor to focus on areas where they are uniquely called. Further, embracing technology can streamline administrative processes, affording pastors more time for pastoral care. 
Utilizing church management software for planning, communication, and financial tracking can significantly reduce the administrative burden. This modern approach to church administration is not about replacing the personal touch of pastoral care but enhancing it by creating more space for direct ministry engagement. Effective communication is another key element. Pastors must clearly articulate the vision and expectations for both the administrative and pastoral arms of church life. This involves ongoing dialogue with church leaders and congregants, fostering an environment of mutual support and understanding. Regularly scheduled meetings, transparent financial reporting, and inclusive decision-making processes help in aligning the church's administrative activities with its pastoral mission. Time management is crucial for a pastor seeking to balance these responsibilities effectively. Jesus himself, amidst his public ministry, made time for solitary prayer and reflection, Mark 1 verse 35. Likewise, pastors benefit from a disciplined approach to scheduling, ensuring that both administrative tasks and pastoral care are given appropriate attention. This might involve designating specific times for sermon preparation, pastoral visits, staff meetings, and personal devotions. Moreover, pastors should foster a culture of mentorship within their church. Training and empowering emerging leaders not only facilitates administrative delegation but also extends pastoral care through a team of caregivers. Acts 14 verse 23 exemplifies this principle, and when they had ordained them elders in every church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord, on whom they believed. By investing in the development of other leaders, a pastor multiplies the church's capacity for both care and governance. It is also vital for pastors to model a healthy work-life balance, setting an example for their congregation. The pressures of ministry can often blur the lines between personal and professional life, leading to burnout. Pastors must therefore practice self-care, prioritizing their relationship with God, family time, and rest. Setting boundaries and making time for Sabbath rest are not signs of neglecting duty but are scriptural mandates for sustaining long-term ministry, Exodus 20 verses 8-10. Furthermore, pastors should not hesitate to seek support when needed, whether through counseling, peer networks, or spiritual directors. Galatians 6 verse 2 encourages believers to bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. This command is equally applicable within pastoral ministry. Sharing the weight of administrative and pastoral responsibilities with trusted colleagues or mentors can provide much-needed relief and perspective. In balancing administrative duties with pastoral care, it is paramount to maintain a heart of worship and devotion. The administrative aspects of ministry should not be seen as mere tasks but as acts of service to God. Colossians 3 verses 23-24 reminds us, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For ye serve the Lord Christ. By viewing administration through the lens of worship, Pastors can integrate these duties into their broader vocation of serving God and His people. Ultimately, the goal of pastoral ministry is to shepherd the flock to a deeper relationship with Christ. Whether through preaching, teaching, counseling, or administrative leadership, every aspect of pastoral work is geared toward this end. By seeking wisdom from the Holy Spirit, relying on the strengths of the church community, and embracing the tools and practices that facilitate efficient administration, pastors can achieve a harmonious balance between the various demands of their calling. In conclusion, the journey to balancing administrative duties with pastoral care is not a path pastors walk alone. It is a collaborative effort, supported by the prayers, gifts, and talents of the entire church body. By focusing on their unique calling, leveraging the collective strengths of their congregation, and maintaining a steadfast reliance on God, pastors can navigate the complexities of modern ministry with grace and effectiveness. In doing so, they fulfill their God-given mission, shepherding their flock with love, wisdom, and diligence.